Hi friends, host Eric here, host of Talking with Fence People, and today's episode is called The Best Four, The Four Greatest INTJs in History, plus the one most bleh scumbag. Okay, so for the INTJ personality type, we can divide their categories into media makers, statesmen, philosophers, and math science people. Alright? So let me list some possible choices that you could you could think about as great INTJs. Here's an impartial list. Isaac Newton I've discovered is somewhat in dispute, uh, but that the majority thinks it's probably INTJ. So we'll put him over here. INTJ, Nikola Tesla, Stephen Hawking, John Nash, Megabro, Hami, Marx, Rand, and Rand, that is, Nietzsche, Martin Luther, Hegel, Heraclitus. Heraclitus, you have a Greek philosopher named Her uh Clitus. Sartre, Zuckerberg, Elon Musk, uh, Keynesian economics, that can't, Keynes or Keys or however you say his name. John Adams, Polk, Coolidge, Dukakis, Isaac Asimov, Christopher Hitchens, uh, L. Mencken, Katie Kirk, Edward Kunkel, my coach. Oh, he's, I, I'm sorry, he's ENTJ. What did I put that there for? Yeah. Krugman, uh, and Lennon. Did I mention Lennon? Lennon's one, too. That's right. So, let's talk about these things here which is who wins each each of the categories and what the top what the final order is so number four greatest INTJ in history I'm going to give the uh, statesman which is James K Polk congratulations INTJs James K Polk is your representative president good job he's a great president one of my very favorites not quite my favorite is the INTP Jefferson but a very effective fellow. Number three, greatest INTJ in history. I'm going Hegel. I was gonna, I, I, <laughs> I was divided between which one was three, and which one was two, Hegel or the next one, and I put the next one in the two slot. So three, Hegel, great philosopher, right? Good contributor to the philosophical process. Uh, he just, he beat Ayn Rand, I like Ayn Rand, he beat Martin Luther, and most importantly, he beat Heraclitus. Alright, number two, greatest INTJ in history, L, L, Mencken, what, what, that fucker could write some shit, I tell you, great writer, check him out, off forgotten, off overlooked, L, Mencken, blows your mind. It will blow your mind. He's such a good writer and his ideologies are, I mean, his idea making is so sound. So, who then is the number one INTJ in history? It should be pretty obvious. Nikola Tesla, of course. Greatest genius in all of, of all time. Nikola Tesla is the greatest genius of all time. The singular genius that everyone should think of the, the, the archetype that Einstein plays should be the archetype that Tesla has instead. It should be Tesla instead. He's the super genius of all of human history. Now, of course, who's your big villain? Who's your big dick? Who's your asshole? Who's your INTJ? Dark sheep of the family, is that what they call it? Uh, well, it's Lenin. But you've also got that fucker, that fucker who killed those people in Norway. You've also got the Unabomber <laughs> and somebody else anyway but the worst of the worst of the worst of the worst of course is Lennon so fuck you INTJs for producing Lennon but thank you INTJs for producing Tesla and L.L. Mencken is fucking so rad and also James K. Polk good president and who was the other one I said oh yeah that's right Hegel Hegel I mean you guys got Hegel you're doing fine thanks for watching